Egyptian billionaire Loutfi Mansur shuts down rumors he's joined bidding war for Chelsea. The Egyptian businessman Loutfi Mansur has ruled himself out of the running to replace Roman Abramovich as Chelsea's owner, denying rumors of potential takeover bid. Abramovich announced his plans to sell Chelsea on Wednesday evening, just days after it was revealed that the club's stewardship and care had been handed to its foundation trustees amid the threat of anti-Russian sanctions. It comes after Russian military forces launched a full-scale invasion of neighboring Ukraine under the orders of President Vladimir Putin, who Abramovich has allegedly held close ties with in the past. It's understood Abramovich, who took over Chelsea back in 2003, values the Champions League holders at between £3.4 billion, and the 55-year-old Russian-Israeli oligarch has vowed to donate all net proceeds from the impending sale to victims of the conflict in Ukraine. For the latest updates on the Russia-Ukraine war, visit our live blog, Russia-Ukraine Live Widespread Reports in the wake of Abramovich's stunning announcement indicate that Swiss philanthropist Hans Jörg Wyss and the Dodgers co-owner Todd Bowley are set to unite and launch an eye-watering offer for the West London Giants. There has also been talk of Chelsea season ticket holder Mansur, the scion of an Egyptian billionaire family who now heads up a London-based investment firm, preparing a rival bid for his beloved club. However, the 38-year-old has distanced himself from the speculation, and it's clear he will not be the man to take over the reins from Abramovich at Stamford Bridge. In light of the recent media speculation, we want to make it clear that we are not pursuing a bid for Chelsea Football Club at this time, a spokesperson for Mansur told The Guardian. Speaking at a press conference this morning, Chelsea head coach Thomas Tuchel confirmed that Abramovich's decision to sell would have no direct impact on his own future. Chelsea, from my point of view, is the perfect fit, and I love to be here," the German told reporters. I love working in the Premier League and in England with all the passion. Hopefully, it continues. There is uncertainty, and there are no assurances but isn't it always like this as a football manager? So I have trained to live with it at different levels, and this is quite the level. But I am positive, and I hope things will end well. Former Chelsea winger Pat Nevin, meanwhile, has urged supporters to put away their violins over Abramovich's looming departure and instead focus their attentions on those suffering in Ukraine. The first couple of statements Chelsea released were limp, and that is being kind. This one is stronger and close to doing the right thing, the ex-Scotland international told BBC Radio 5 Live. Chelsea fans will be concerned about the club going forward. The club will survive and let's get this into perspective. It is a football club, it is only a game and there are bigger fish to fry right now. Chelsea might be lucky and get a wealthy owner. Have a look at what has happened to Barcelona and Real Madrid, teams go through ups and down, real fans understand that. Put away the violins, because the tears need to be about somewhere else in the world. Thomas Tuchel reacts to Roman Abramovich officially putting Chelsea up for sale Gary Neville reacts as Roman Abramovich decides to sell Chelsea. There are worse owners, what Mauricio Pochettino told PSG director about Manchester United links Nevin added, it would be good if the club was sold for a profit so it could help the Ukrainian people. The club has been running on getting things back on an even keel for a few years because Roman Abramovich knew all along he wasn't going to last forever. More Thomas Tuchel provides injury updates on Chelsea's Hakim Ziyech, Cesar Azpilicueta and Rhys James Morngolo Conte admits Chelsea players were not prepared for Roman Abramovich's sale decision.